Good evening, good evening to the whole New Orleans. Like they say, this is your own Jay Barone. Past pre Katrina New Orleans Live. It is indeed a pleasure to be in Wayne's studio, in Wayne's spot, hip hop and fashion. Wayne has allowed the Bells of LA to come in and take over his studio. Woo! Yay! Woo! <laughs> so Wayne gave me the mic and told me that he was just going to make me take over. And he I thought I would not. You. I got you, Wayne. <laughs> so I want, instead of you interviewing us, I'm going to interview you. This is fabulous what you're doing, this hip hop and fashion. I want you to tell and remind. Mind all of your viewers what hip hop and fashion is about and how you got it started. Good, What happened was you got me nervous now. How you doing today? I'm doing good. How you doing? I won't complain. Won't complain. I'm upset, Wayne. Why are you upset? Because you had had us to put on fashion and we could have just done hip hop and with jeans and a t shirt. Well, I am hip hop. I mean, you are hip hop. I'm hip hop. This is how we do, baby. This is I know. Y'all. Y'all look like a thirty-two dollar bill. Oh, wow, I don't, is that good or bad? You ever seen one before? I'm over here with you. You ever seen one before? No. <laughs> Awesome. We are so grateful to be here, Wayne, and to have us come here to promote our show, The Bells of L.A. And what's it about? It is about these fabulous women, our day-to-day endeavors, and, you know, it kind of basically gives the audience a flip side. Because during the day, we're kind of like superheroes. During the day, they're professional, but Lord have mercy, after 5 o'clock. And so they get to see all of our after 5 o'clock. Introduce yourselves, if you don't mind. Sure. First, we have... Star Dave Fleming. Woohoo! <laughs> we have the wonderful Sheila Eccles. Yes. And we have I known as oh. Chelsea Bray. Oh. Chell Bell. She got that. That's the Chell. Yes, I got She's this. always Chell. breaking the rules. Who we'll go, Chell? <laughs> Always breaking the rules. Yes. So we're, it's a reality TV show. Why don't you tell them more? Tell your audience about the show. Well, the show is uh, features all of us, and our husbands are on the show as well. And we have, of course, some controversy and everything too. But you know, at the end of the day, we all come together after we've you know had our differences and talked about everything. We come together at the end of the day um, and work our problems out. And I think that's what life is about. You have to, you know, it's going to be conflict. It's going to be problems. But at the end of the day, you know, you're going to have to come to a peaceful resolution. Yep. Now, do you good. believe that? Mm-hmm. That's why her leg is broke. No. And that sounds there is politically no correct. <laughs> Four women in the room ain't nothing correct about that. No, no, no. And there is no resolution. <laughs> no, no. How, I mean, how did the idea of the show come about and how did all, all of you come together collectively? Well, one day I was watching uh, one of three reality shows that I like to watch and... Uh, I said, you know, God just gave me the idea. It was not me. He said, you know what? You you need to produce a show that shows a whole different dynamic of women. So we just kind of came in, uh, came to the table. The Bells of LA was born. I kind of talked them into it. I told them I had a business idea for them, and I brought them to the table, and they had no idea what I was going to say. But they bought into it, and we had a few more people, and some kind of had to go. That's how it, you know. It's definitely yeah. Right, 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 right. So now it's just all for Beyonce. There you go. There you go. And it, I tell you what, it's more like some Ike and Tina Turner. Because every day they're cursing each other out. So. Oh, you, you gonna eat that cake, anime? Anime, eat the cake, anime. Anime, you gonna eat this cake, girl. You gonna eat this cake. No. On a serious They can't have my cornbread. <laughs> you gonna eat your cornbread? I can't have my cornbread. <laughs> Too much fun, but uh, as far as professions, all, all of you guys have, have uh, various professions. If you wouldn't mind, mind letting the viewer and the audience know about those professions, I'm a medical marketer and I'm a nurse, an RN, and also I'm a medical market, marketer as well. And and oh, and <laughs> wow. <laughs> Say it now. Just don't even say it now. Now, I'm going to be researching that. Allegedly, this is the real Sheila Eccles from the 88 Olympics with Flojo, but we starting to wonder. Like, she never... (laughs) We're going to have to do a DNA test or check on some kind of way and verify that this is really her. Because I don't know. (laughs) It is, but it's just that it was such a long time ago. It's like, when you ask, what, what what do we do now? That's why I said, you know. Well, what's yeah. special? What's special about you, Sheila? That's what they want to know. That I'm just fabulous. Oh! <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Girl, Sheila. Wow. 
Well, all right. <laughs> now we know if you didn't know. Well, I'm Star audience and I am a real estate broker and an insurance agent and I'm an entrepreneur for life that's what I do I work for myself and I enjoy it and when Jennifer bought this to me I was like cool let's do it girl and stars a beater that's my name for her see these fabulous earrings I have on <laughs> Star made these for me Star made all of this so you know if you not fabulous when Star finished with you you'll be one of two things you'll either be fabulous or a Christmas tree but she gonna hang something on you she will decorate you, you know. Wow. I got a question for all of you. Sure. I know there's going to be some, for lack of a better term, complications oh, on the show. <laughs> but is it staged? No. <laughs> it's not staged. That's what makes it so, especially the things Sheila Bell says. We, I, I couldn't have wrote, I mean, we'd have to call in like Joan Collins or somebody to write for the show to write the things that come out of her mouth. Uh, who's going to think of that? 